Would you like to help your students move through your course by firing off emails to them when they complete certain lessons in the course? Or maybe you want to use an external shopping cart with Thinkific and automatically enroll those students in your course. There are a ton of different reasons why you might want to use Zapier with Thinkific. So I'm going to take you inside Zapier, show you around, and tell you a little bit more about how you can use it to connect Thinkific and another software that you're using that wouldn't normally connect. I'm Kim Garnett with Brainy Girl, and we help novice course creators create, market, and launch a course that sells. So as I mentioned, Zapier is a software program, cloud-based online, that allows you to connect two different software programs together. So in this case, we're going to be connecting or looking at the connections that we can use with Thinkific. So you can get a basic Zapier account for free. There are paid plans depending on how many zaps uh, you want to create and how many times they're going to be firing. So every time where you create um, this connection, it's called a zap. Now I can go under apps and see which different apps uh, I can use for this. So it's a great idea to just kind of explore Zapier and imagine how you can automate some of your processes. So if we go into apps here, we can see all of the different apps that we might be able to use to connect with Thinkific. So I'll give you some examples just by looking at some of these here. So the first thing I look at is Google Sheets. So perhaps you need to automatically take your user information, the users on your Thinkific site, and pull them into a Google Sheet. You could do that using Zapier. If you wanted to send an email from your Gmail account when someone signed up for a course in your Thinkific site, or when someone completed a lesson in your Thinkific site, or if someone unsubscribed, uh, from a membership, you could send out an email from your Gmail account. You could automatically sign someone up for Slack, for a Slack community that you have maybe, when they enroll in a course, a specific course, on your Thinkific site. Um, you know, MailChimp, MailChimp natively integrates with Thinkific, but everyone goes onto one list in MailChimp, you might want to separate it out so that when someone signs up for this course in Thinkific, they're going to be added to this list in MailChimp, and you can set up Zaps to do that. So as you can see, there are a ton of options of, of how you might want to connect to software pieces. Um, this is one I use a lot because Stripe is our payment gateway for Thinkific. So if someone cancels a membership, with our membership site in Stripe, I actually then send them into ConvertKit with a specific tag that sets off a sequence um, and I send myself an email automatically with Zap to let me know that someone's canceled their membership. So as you can see, look through, you know, there's tons, hundreds, maybe even thousands of different apps that you can connect with Thinkific. So when you're wondering how to connect two software programs together, Thinkific with something, go to Zapier and see if they have the app. And if they do, it's pretty easy to make that happen. So we're in Zapier account here. We're just under my Explore tab here. And it's asking us which two software programs we want to connect. So there's a ton that you can choose from. Um, so let's just type in Thinkific here. And let's say that I wanna use it with ConvertKit, which is the email marketing service provider that I use. Now Thinkific does integrate with ConvertKit uh, natively. So I don't need Thinkif or I don't need Zapier to connect these two, but I could create some zaps to um, help out with this process and do more than just import my Thinkific uh, users into my ConvertKit account. So now we're going to put in our two softwares here and you can again explore how this is going to look for you with this explore tab. So you have to in Zapier uh, create a trigger and an action. So when this happens, then this is going to happen. So when this happens, which is the trigger, now what I might want to do in this one, because I've already connected my Thinkific site with ConvertKit, is maybe I want to say when they complete a lesson, then I want uh, a tag added to them in ConvertKit. And then in ConvertKit, I could have it set off. So when that tag is applied, a specific email sequence would go out to those uh, users. So let's say they complete 25% of the course. 
I might want to send them an email to encourage them to keep moving through the course. So let's go here to make a zap and we're just going to check out what our options are here. Okay, so here we are inside where we're actually creating this connection to be happening. So I've said that when a lesson is completed in Thinkific, and I'm going to use this account here, which is my current account, and I'm just going to test it. Yep, it looks like it's connected, so I'm going to save and continue. So now it's asking me which course I want to do this for. So let's find one of my courses here. So we'll use this one, Creating and Managing Your Affiliate Program. So that's the course in Thinkific that I want um, this connection to work for. And now it's going to ask which lesson I want to basically send a tag to ConvertKit in when they complete this lesson. So let's go down here to Managing Affiliates in Thinkific, which is one of the lessons in this particular course. And then I'm going to click Continue. So I've said when people, someone finishes that lesson in Thinkific, I want to add them to this tag in ConvertKit. Okay, so let's go down here and let's just move this up for a second and we're going to continue on and we're going to pull in samples. So it's basically trying to grab someone from Thinkific that we can use as a real life example. So Zapier can test this connection. So it looks like it's pulled in three samples. I can click here and see who the sample is that they pulled this in for. So I just want to make sure that it's a, um, you know, it's an accurate sample and then I'm going to click continue. Okay, so the second thing is to choose this action app. And in this case, I wanted to do something in ConvertKit. So in ConvertKit, I want to add subscribers to a tag, but there's other things that I can do as well. I can also add a subscriber to a particular sequence based on them finishing that lesson. So let's click continue. And there's my ConvertKit connection. So I'm just going to test that and save and continue. Okay, now the information it's asking me for is what's the tag in ConvertKit that I want um, to use for this. So when someone completes that particular lesson in my Thinkific course, what do I want to tag them with? Now you need to create this tag, for instance, in ConvertKit first before you connect it here. So I've just used one of the tags that I have set up in there. And then I'm going to put in the email address of the new subscriber. So I'm going to find the user email right here from the sample. And then again, I'm going to find the first name from that sample and I'm going to click continue. So it's pulled in my sample here and it's going to send a test to ConvertKit. So then I would go over to ConvertKit and make sure that that subscriber had pu been pulled in and had that tag added to their name in ConvertKit. And then I'm going to click finish. I'm going to name my zap. and then I'm gonna simply turn my zap on. Okay, my zap is now on. So when someone completes that lesson in my affiliate program course on my Thinkific site, it's gonna automatically shoot that zap off and that zap is gonna pull that user from Thinkific into ConvertKit and tag them with a certain tag which then can set off a sequence, which I would set up in ConvertKit. So that's how easy it is to set up a zap to make two programs talk together. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, give it a thumbs up and share it out with your network. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified as I release new videos. Have a great one.